High school basketball, it's conference tournament season around the area. Teams looking to defend titles and continue Cinderella's stories spread out across the state tonight. That includes in Hastings, where Adam Central hosts a doubleheader. The boys, the two seed, welcoming in Northwest. Both teams looking to advance to the Central Conference semis, but it's the Patriots going to work early. Freshman Hunter Neppel showing off the baby hook for the first points of the game. And the Patriots' onslaught continues after that. Dylan Jansen getting the corner pocket shot to drop. Patriots, they end up getting real hot from deep tonight. Even in transition, though, Neppel showing off the handles with a nice behind-the-back dribble, finding his running mate, Decker Shestak, who splashes this one down. The bench absolutely loving it. AC too much for the Vikings. They advance in convincing fashion, 54-32. to 32. The Patriot girls are the top seed in their conference and hosting Lexington, who upset Skyler for their first win of the year. Ellen Mulid getting the Minute Maids going with a tough layup. The bench enjoying that one, and the Minute Maids are hooping against the top seed. Kiana Klaus with a smooth step back jumper. This game tied at the end of one, but the Patriots, they flip the switch, and Megan Scott initiates it. Starting with the baby Euro step for the lay that gets the pads back on track, and Scott continues this time cleaning up the glass. The Patriots run away with it later. They continue their title defense in a 49 to 25 win. Oh, we're, we're, we're trying to defend our championship from last year as far as conference tournament goes and so uh, you know that's a that's a big goal for us in the summertime uh, when we write them down and, and that was the first one and so uh, it's important for our kids to play well you know you got two or three weeks left of this, this season and so uh, there's not a whole lot guaranteed left and um, you know the conference tournament's one of them. Oh. The Patriots resume play on Friday against Crete at Northwest, and tip-off is at 6 p.m. The Viking girls, though, are hosting the Central quarterfinals tonight. York makes the trip to Grand Island as the sixth seed. Vikings down early, climbing out of the hole. Reagan McIntyre gets three back on the swish. It's still a nine-point Dukes lead, though. Kinsley Kern might just be a freshman, but she's got the last name, the same last name as me and gets buckets, too. A little pump fake and hard drive for the score. York looks good tonight. Laney Portwine tickles the twine from distance. The Dukes lead the whole way through. It's an upset, 51-30 to for the Dukes. The Lincoln Lutheran boys, though, are home. Warriors hosting St. Cecilia in the conference quarterfinals. Blue Hawks down and battling back. Dawson Kissinger lines up a three. Popular name in Hastings gets it to fall. Add another later from Chase Evans, but the Warriors, well, they're too strong tonight. Jacob Ditzman is a do-it-all guy. He gets the blow-by and finesses a pretty reverse lay. Lincoln Lutheran moves on in a 49-33 win. The GICC girls are the top seed in the Centennial Conference, hosting Lincoln Lutheran, who's trying to play spoiler. Good transition offense from the Crusaders, Carolyn Mazur to Anna Tibbetts to Maggie Herbick. Crusaders go up four in the first. But the Warriors show a lot of fight tonight. Three from Ellie Shadel is nothing but net. That cuts the first quarter deficit to one. Warriors would take a 21-17 lead into halftime, but GICC makes its necessary adjustments. It starts on defense. Tibbetts with the steal and coast-to-coast. -coast. Crusaders move on in a 48-33 win. To the historic Crossroads Conference tourney, where the Cross County girls are the number one seed and have just one loss. Cougars in control early. Eden Peterson tacks on three more. It's a 32-point lead. You heard that right. Storm gets some offense in the second half from Peyton Hoffman, though. Drive and finish here is good, but the Cougs do not let up after that. Cross County is championship bound in a 58 to 17 win. The McCool Junction girls are the reigning CRC champs. The Mustangs draw Dorchester in the semis. Good ball movement early from McCool Junction. Claire Brueger is wide open underneath and they find her for the bucket. It's a one point game. Half winding down, Dorchester gets a three from Atli Zubik to stop the bleeding. That makes it a 13 point game, but it's too much Mustangs. McCool's title defense continues in a 51 to 31 win.